Hello everyone and welcome back to the third episode on my How to Mod Hearts of Iron 4 tutorial series. Last we left off, we did make our Neo-Macedonian Empire and actually put it into the game in Hearts of Iron 4. Now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be adding a flag to the country and we are also going to be changing the color of the country because that disgusting green really doesn't scream Macedonia to me. So anyway, as per usual, we're going to be going to our documents, Paradox Interactive, Hearts of Iron 4, and we're going to move it to one side of the screen, and in case for those of you that missed the last episode, I'm going to show you guys how to get to your Hearts of Iron 4 directory without using, without just knowing where it is in your computer. So if you just go to Properties and Hearts of Iron 4, you go to Local Files, you go to Browse Local Files, it's right here. I know I put it in a very awkward spot in the last episode, so I figured I would do it now. For those of you that cannot seem to find it. Anyway, as you can see here, we have all our files once again. And we need to go back to our Macedon over here in our mod section. And as you can see, we have common history localization. But uh, however, there is definitely more we need to be adding to make this a full little mod here. So what we're going to be doing next is we're going to go into common. For both of these, I'm going to go into countries. Inside countries, there's a file called colors. And what we're going to do is we're going to copy colors and we're going to paste it over here. Inside colors, we're going to edit it with Notepad. And let's see, this goes, I would say, both hand in hand with making our flag, as you guys shall see. So, as you can see, there are a bunch of colors here. But as per usual, we're just going to go ahead and take Germany here. Actually, no, what we're going to do instead is we're going to take Germany plus this little comment up here. Actually, that might not be a comment now that I think about it. That might be a command. Well, it's just a text file. I'm not really sure how Paradox reads it, so I'm going to actually just take Germany. Sorry, guys. I can never tell, tell with these files, and I'd rather have it working than not. So what we're going to do is we're going to stick it below Iceland. Um, this file, I'm pretty sure you cannot rename it. I haven't tried renaming it, but even if, like, uh other mods happen to add more here or whatever I mean it's still probably break but that's alright um, so as we go to uh, Germany down here you can see we have color equal HSV but what we're gonna want to change that to is we're gonna change it to RGB and you see there's going to be four four uh, codes right here we got 0 0.1 0 0.15 and 0 0.4 but that's obviously the HSV so we're gonna go ahead and get rid of that but before we can actually get a color we also need to change this to Macedon MAC that's our tag and color equals RGB. We need to actually find a color. Um, and also this color underscore UI, I have no idea what it does. I've asked other people, they can't figure out what it does either. So basically we'll just keep those two the same just to make sure. But what we're going to be doing is we are going to be adding our color in. But to do that first, we actually need to find a color. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up Photoshop. And also gonna open up the internet. Uh, this is not what I want. I want a new tab, thank you. Okay. So we have our tab right here, and what we're going to be doing is I'm just going to be looking up Macedonia flag. Yes, I've searched this quite a few times, and what I actually personally want is I want this flag right here, because this will represent our Macedonian Neo-Macedonian Empire, rather. So we're going to click New, just open it up, you know, normal Photoshop stuff. As I can see here, we have our flag, wonderful. And what I would like to do, actually, because I, I neither want the red nor do I want the yellow. What I want instead is I want a combination of both. So I'm going to go on the internet, and I'll provide this link in the description. And I'm going to do color combiner. And the first one that pops up is color blender from Meyer Web. And as you can see here, they have, I mean, you can obviously pick t some of these because these are all valid CSS color values. What we're going to do instead is we are going to take the red from right here. We're going to find its RGB, which is 210 and 00. We're going to go 210. Oh, actually, no, no, sorry, that's, that's my fault. We're going to instead keep it on hex, and we're just going to copy this hex code right here, paste it in there. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to take the yellow right here. We're going to do the same thing, copy the hex code, paste in the color 2. And to find the exact middle is you take midpoint 1, and you're going to blend it. And there you go, you get, you get your color. But what we're going to do instead is we're going to switch it over to RGB, because that is what our file needs over here. Oh, there we go. So as you can see we have MAC and what we're going to do is we're just going to, we're not going to copy it because it needs a different format. What we're going to do is we're going to take, we're just going to take 233 space 115 
space zero and then we're just going to copy that and we're going to put it in the one right down there there we go and we can save that and that will be in the game all right next thing we're going to do so we're going to close out of this because we no longer need this file but what we need now is we need this flag file well, before we can do that, we actually need a place to put the flags, and we are going to have to create that. So go back to Hearts of Mind 4, we have this GFX folder right here. So we're going to go create new folder, GFX in our own mod. We're going to open that up, and we're going to create flags. And then we're going to open the flags folder. And from here, we have medium and small, and you need to create those as well to properly display your flag at all sizes. So we have medium, small, and we have our base flags here. So there we go. So we're going to go ahead and take one of these as an example, um, just keeping with it, we're going to search Germany. And as you can see, there's a German fascist and some other ones that load in. And see, these are all small, large. Um, but anyway, we are just going to be taking one of these. So we're going to throw this into Photoshop. As you can see, this is definitely the small one. So we're going to go for the next one. We're going to go for the next just, oh, that's strange actually. Um, we're going to go instead we're just going to throw one in here just because I want to make sure because that, that was really strange Sorry, I'm unsure why there is one that just had the tag Germany because most of them have underscore something to them so that was quite strange um, so for example this is actually one of the normal sized ones because as you can see over here it is not in medium and small so we can go ahead and find the size of it um, there's probably an easy way to do this but 82 and 52. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our flag folder, or file rather, and we're going to resize it. So you see if we did a width of 82, the problem is that the height wouldn't be quite right and we'd have to add on to the height. So instead, I think it's better to do is make sure that the height is correct rather, and then we just chop down the width by going into image, canvas size, 82. So we're going to go ahead and save that. And so we have it right here, and all we need to do now is we need to save as, and not thumbnails, but rather we want to go back to our documents, back to Paradox Interactive, Hearts of Iron 4, Mod, Macedon, GFX, Flags, and, and right here. And we don't want to save it as a Photoshop, we want to save it as a Targa, TGA. And what it's going to be called is going to be called, for example, this one, what we have here is going to be Macedon underscore Fascism. And then we can go ahead and save it. Let me make sure that's right. Fascism. Yep, fascism. So if we go back to our GFX flat folder over here, you can see it is right there. But I'm not sure why these are being shown differently. But anyway, so as you can see, we have it right here. And if we open it in paint.net, which is a little bit confusing, but we can just make sure it works. There we go. And it is 82 by 52. Wonderful. So now we're going to do the same for small and medium. We're just going to grab any old medium and we're going to grab any old small because it doesn't really matter how large they are. We just need to figure out, or it doesn't really matter which one they are. We just need to figure out how large it is. So this is, I believe, the medium one and it is 41 by 26. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this, our original flag over here, and we're going to make it 41 oops, by 26. And now we're just going to save it into medium, and we're going to call it the same thing, Macedon underscore fascism. Oops, I did not save it as the right file type. That's my bad. Targa, MAC underscore fascism. We're going to save this, and let's see how small this one is. This one is 10 by 7. So we're going to go back here to our other flag. It's going to be 10 by 7. We're going to save another target, but instead we're going to go out of flags medium into flags small and save it as underscore fascism. So we're going to go and save that. Now we can go ahead and close out of Photoshop. We can close out of all these folders, close out of all of that, and all that's left now is to open back up Steam, which is going to take a while again because Steam is apparently takes ages to open. But maybe we can just go to recent instead and open up Hearts of Iron 4. Who knows? There we go. Thank you, Steam. So now we're going to open up Hearts of Iron 4. From there, we're going to go back to mods, make sure that nothing will be conflicting, and then we just have Macedon on. And we're going to go ahead and play. And no whammies, am I right? 
And the hope is that we will have a Macedon that is orange with the correct flag. So new game, 1936, other countries. Macedon, and would you look at that? Our flag is there and the color is correct. So hopefully everybody else was able to get to this point. Um, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, a comment. If you guys need help, post that in the comments too. I am glad to help. Um, if there's something you guys think I should improve on with uh, you know, how I'm explaining this, go slower, go faster. Maybe just explain it better, which is also a valid, constructive criticism, though I'd like there to be a little bit more to it, but that's all right. Um, let me know, and I will see you guys in the next uh, tutorial, which I'm not quite sure what we're going to be doing. I and mean, There's some more things we can change with our country, such as maybe making sure we don't have Adolf Hitler, but there's a lot more to change. You guys let me know what you would like me to do a tutorial on, and I will do that. And I will see you guys there when I plan to do it.